Hi there and thanks for joining us on Hello Malaysia. I'm Anne Edwards. Topic for today, this time around, is Friends to Mankind. We've had this discussion before, uh, but today we have special focus on business and what this NGO is doing in terms of promoting good business skills and also best practices. In November, they will have a gathering to discuss about women in business. Unfortunately, in the studio with us, uh, all men but of course they are the founding members and will tell us more about friends to mankind what they do and what are their business gatherings all about number to call 2693 <coughs> that's our number if you have any questions or feedback at all let's introduce our guests in the studio right next to me mr tim fernandez welcome back ceo and founder of live and inspire Leaf. <laughs> Thank you for joining Thank us. Um, Mr. Arvindran Balan, who is founding member of Friends to Mankind. You are one of the founding members. Yes, thanks. Okay, great. And from Switzerland is Roger Zimmerman, who is Friends to Mankind International Goodwill Ambassador from Switzerland. How long have you been in Malaysia? Two years. Thank two years. Mm -hmm. And how long are you going to stay? Probably another, for another two years. Great. So you are doing work for Friends yes. to Mankind. Yes. Okay, what is it all about? Let's recap that. Arvind? Would you like to do that? Well, Friends to Mankind basically is an international organization that was set up in Canada by Dian Vimal. Uh -huh. The whole idea behind uh, Friends to Mankind was to actually uh, provide a common platform for everybody to contribute towards the betterment of humanity. It's an invitation for every global citizen to participate. Uh -huh. So the idea of Friends to Mankind was conceptualized by Dian Vimal in 2002. And uh, I'm just giving you an idea of the background of how the concept came about. What happened was he was in a trip, he was going on a trip to India <coughs> and um, he actually visited this particular rural village with his family. And uh, in the surroundings, there were a lot of uh, children that were in dire hunger and what he did was at a particular period of time, he just provided cash to feed those children. Mm -hmm. But then he realized that giving cash was a very temporary solution. Very short term. Yeah. yeah. And uh, to understand more and to actually see what can be done, he took it upon himself to go on a fast mm. for a period of two years on having a single meal a day he fasted. Yeah. To understand what that particular child went through in, 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 in that dire need of hunger. And uh, he realized that cash, giving cash, giving contributions, charity and all that is a very temporary solution. And what is required is for all of us to step up mm. and participate. Mm -hmm. And only that it will make a difference. So there is a degree of personal responsibility that is required and that is something that cannot be dictated. So the whole idea of Friends to Mankind <coughs> is not to dictate but to invite people to participate. Right. So are we all volunteers in this organization? Yes, we are. And uh, how many members do we have right now? Uh, in Malaysia, we have about 120 members. Mm -hmm. And we have, we have the head office which is based in Canada. The operational office is in Malaysia because Dian Vimal is from Malaysia. And we have representatives and ambassadors from various countries all over the world. Right. Why in Canada? Why did it start in Canada and not Malaysia? After all, Vimal is from Malaysia. Precisely. Because after that trip, he was actually in Canada for three years. Right. So he worked with a lot of people and instead of waiting, he set it up there and it got moving. Mm -hmm. So the moment he came back to Malaysia, it was immediately set up as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's that's the reason for it. So what is the kind of culture friends of mankind want to create, Tim? I think uh, adding on to what Arvin shared just now, uh, I always pick it up when when he's doing talks. Uh, one of the things that he always say that the child that was in hunger uh, inspired him or reminded him about something that. Uh, somewhere along the way, somebody succeeded and forgot about the child. Uh, somewhere along the way, someone made a buck and forgot about 
uh, feeding the child and ensuring that the child is taken care. <coughs> so I think the culture that we are trying to, to create or bring to the world or basically provoke the world is to cultivate right, su right success. And right success here meaning that in your, in your success, many people grow, many people are taken care, many people are, are well looked after. Uh, I think the notion that right now what success is about is that someone succeeding, the rest uh, uh, are not benefiting from it. Or that's, 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 that came about in, in the Red Sea strategy where, where everyone has to kill to achieve a, a certain amount of success. So he, by I think doing that, it initiates certain consciousness when I'm starting my business or or whether, regardless whether I'm starting my business or whether I'm an employee, I'm actually thinking about the consequences of my action, the consequences of my intention. So when I move, uh, much is taken care. All right. Yeah. So um, how have you all taken care of these children? What kind of programs has uh, Friends to Mankind organized yeah, so um, far? I think before we go into the program, we actually need to understand that Friends to Mankind works to on many different levels, from the level of an individual, uh, because one of their principles is doing what you can from where you are, uh, and then it works towards corporations and then business owners as well. Mm -hmm. So the programs that we design or, or we design uh, will target different target markets, right. uh, but initially uh, basically focusing on what you can do from where you are, mm -hmm. uh, and Corporations or business owners is just one of the angles that we are taking with the business gathering that we are, we are about to organize uh, or we've been organizing for the last three months mm -hmm. uh, where we facilitate business owners to come together and in your in your building of business you you are equipped with right skills uh, right mindset uh, and basically be a contribution to humanity at large. Mm -hmm. Does this involve uh, CSR programs or, you know, things like that? Uh, yeah, I, I think CSR is oversold. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole idea or notion about CSR So how days. do business corporations and business owners give back to society? Like you say, you want to contribute to humanity. Is that right? I think it's about exercising your business vision mm -hmm. uh, consciously like for example does my business process uh, wrong an employee or does my business process nurture an employee mm -hmm. does my business process contribute to the to uh, uh, you know people around me so it's a it's not to to consciously go and make a difference like that but from where I am uh, from where I'm creating I'm, uh, I'm consciously doing it from the very beginning, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we want to initiate that because uh, we realize the whole idea about people starting out business is about bottom lines, and the bottom line, and so much so, I think there's 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 a whole idea when we we focus on bottom line, we we abide, I mean we we, we don't really consider much after that. Mm -hmm. So you up the economy in order to give a better um, life, in fact, to not only the employees but yeah. to society as a whole. Is that yeah. right? Okay. I think the understanding yeah. is basically in an organization, if you start within, mm. you know, there's no point going outside and doing something when it's not even practiced within the organization. So if you start it within, naturally it will flow outside. Mm. So the value you place into your business and the value you want to give outside should be more or, sorry, let me explain further. The idea of uh, giving out um, when you're providing services, for instance, or you're providing goods, for instance. Now, the value you place on the goods shouldn't exceed what the recipient is receiving. So you shouldn't make a profit at the expense of the recipient, mm -hmm. for instance. So if your goods, the value of your goods is only about 100 ringgit, but you're, the, the, but you're marketing at a value of 1,000 ringgit, or you're profiting 900 ringgit at the expense of the consumer, Hmm. That's one. The second part of it, for instance, how you do it internally to your employees. I'll give you an example. I came from an organization where there was a dire need for change within the organization in terms of work culture. 
and the employers were very uh, persistent and very serious about changing the entire mindset so that all the employees had a sense of ownership towards the company. So what they did was, they did something quite radical. What they did was they shared every single thing with regards to their overheads, their expenditure, and how much of money, and their clientele as well. Right up from the dispatch boy to the senior management. So at every level, everybody knew what the company was making mm -hmm. and how much they were losing, for instance. Very transparent. With, yeah, very transparent. With that, with that kind of knowledge sharing, within a year, there was a huge drive within the company by the employees to push. Mm. And a company that was actually suffering in terms of bottom lines was starting to make profit very dramatically mm. because everybody felt okay. a sense of ownership towards it. We have a call on the line. Uh, Kumari from Penang. Hello. Yes, hi. Hi. Thanks hi, for calling. Hi, Kumari. You have a question? Yeah, I'd just like to know yeah. how um, Friends to Mankind is uh, different from other non-profit organizations. Mm. Is that all? Yes. Okay, great. Um, how is it different from other non-profit organization? I'll take that question. I yeah. think um, every non-profit organization has an interest or a lobby of a particular group or a particular uh, purpose they want to achieve. Our purpose is not tangible. Hmm. You know, it's basically enrichment. And there's nothing in it for the organization at all. It's purely an enrichment process. So the business gathering, for instance, that is happening, it's to help business owners to actually enrich each other. Okay. So there is no... Um, there was a, th this was the same question that was actually asked by one of, a, one of the speakers we approached uh, some years, uh, about a year ago. And he actually asked, he's a very prominent um, businessman, I won't mm -hmm. mention the name, but he actually said, why are y'all doing this? Why is an NGO getting involved in business? So the answer to that is, why not? Mm -hmm. Why must it be a business organization that get in, gets involved in business mm -hmm. or promotes a business network? Because you have to understand that Businesses are the engines of society. Without businesses, huma humanity cannot advance. So if we do not tackle corporations, then the idea of expecting an individual to step up, but not corporations, defeats the entire purpose. I, see. I think also because it's... Oh, so sorry, Tim, uh, we have another caller. We'll take that yes. caller first. We don't want to get them waiting. Uh, <laughs> April from Stromban, hello? Hello. Hi. Oh, very Hello. Yeah. Hello. Uh, yeah. You have a question? Yes, I'm uh, April from Surumban. Yeah, thanks for calling. Yeah, would I like to ask some questions? Ah, go ahead. Okay, I run a wellness business. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. How often do you have this uh, gathering and what are the future topics during your next gatherings? Okay, thank you so much, April. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, how often do you have these yeah. gatherings mm -hmm. and what kind of topics? Do you deliberate on? They're, yeah, go ahead. They're, list, okay. they're listed uh, seven, one, seven here. We've already ran two. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the third since one. Since July. Since July. Since July, uh, the first gathering was on the 30th of July, July. which was on SME and new business New business startups. startups. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the second was uh, uh, called Investment for Dummies. Uh, which was quite interesting. Mm -hmm. The third uh, the third that's coming up in November is called Women in Business. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have the fourth, uh, it's called The Future of Business in Malaysia. The fifth one is Globalizing Your Business. The sixth one is called How to Take the Next Step in Your Business. And the seventh is the ABC of Marketing. Mm -hmm. We haven't got the dates to all these. Uh, no. Okay, but we'll talk more about this. We'll take another uh, one short commercial sure. break and we'll be right back. Okay, on the Friends to Mankind and the business gatherings that they are organizing. Stay with us.
Okay, friends to mankind, uh, we continue with our topic on Hello Malaysia and uh, friends to mankind and NGO is organizing a couple of business gatherings. They've had their first uh, in July, uh, the next October and the one that's coming up is on the 19th of November. The topic is women in business. Now, uh, people are asking how can they sign up for these um, gatherings? Yeah, perhaps Roger, you can tell yeah, us. Yeah, we have a website. Uh, called the, the website is mytrian.com myfreen.com mm -hmm. is where you can find out more information about our business gathering it's basically the online platform for our physical gatherings that we have every one or two months we just mentioned before uh, this online platform also allows you to communicate with other participants with other participants of the of the gatherings uh, it allows you to list your profile company profile sell your products or find referrals for contracting jobs they need to do, to be done. Uh -huh. Can people bring their products and stuff? Like yeah. That? yeah. Okay. So it's also a way of promoting their business. Exactly. To help them support the group uh -huh. for small business owners. Well. Okay. So 19th November, it's Women in Business. Who's going to be talking at this gathering? Uh, I think we have we haven't we have not confirmed this because there we have shortlisted I think about five of them. Uh -huh. uh, usually we only confirm them about. Uh, two weeks before the session. Mm -hmm. uh, the speakers all come voluntary and they we usually keep about five pe five mm -hmm. speakers to come. But the format of it is not really about the speakers. The format of it is about bringing uh, the com business community together mm -hmm. and the speakers are there merely to facilitate the conversations that happen within the 150 people that come together. Mm -hmm. Uh, we keep it 150 people because uh, we believe that we want to have the right number to mingle with. If it's so too limited big, to 150. Yeah, it's always 150. So how do you choose your um, participants? It's on a first come first serve basis. Okay. Uh, based on track record, the people that have been coming are business owners. Uh, if you have uh, people who want to start businesses, they come together as well to look for resources. Mm -hmm. So it's basically a platform for resources. Uh, for new business startups as well, they come. So you have uh, people who are experts that, that I will usually host them. Uh, the last one we had st uh, Stephen Chia and we had uh, Tuan Shait. And they were sharing many different angles on how to uh, make proper investments with your company. Mm -hmm. How was the feedback for the first two gatherings, the one in July and October? Full house. Full house. Yeah, full, full house. Because it's only 50 ringgit, yeah? <laughs> so, only 50 yeah. ringgit for a three-hour yeah. gathering. You basically pay for your meal. Uh. Uh, and, and you have the goodie bags and whatnot. And um, and the speakers come and you actually have resource to the speakers as well, which is a very important thing uh, because they give you certain insights that you don't really get out there. Mm. Uh, for example? Uh, Stephen Chia shared with us how he sold his company to YTL mm. during the business gathering. Wow. Uh, so that you don't really get that oh. uh, information out there. So, I mean, it's a very uh, casual uh, encounter with, with, with such high-profile people. Uh, I think that's what adds value to the whole thing. Okay. So, for 19th November, how many have signed up so far? I, if I'm not mistaken, like what? 60? 50, 60? More than half full. More than half. Uh, more than half we're also working on establishing other chapters in different yeah. parts of the country like Penang or Johor Bahru. Yeah. And then once a year we'll have an international conference uh, in one of the friends of mankind countries where people from all over the world can meet each other and, and ex mm. do business exchange. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm very curious about uh, Roger's participation in friends to mankind in Malaysia. Sure. Are you borrowed here? Or? something like well, that? No, I, I met Ms. Uh, Mr. in Canada and my background is software engineering and, and IT consulting. Oh. So uh, and w when he was starting Friends to Mankind, um, I was I was very interested to, to help and, and contribute my, my skill set. So one of the programs we recently did uh, that Mr. Dianwell created is a self-empowering program called Discipline One. You can find it online. It, it's, it allows you to live to your best and it's, it's done together with Friends to Mankind. Um, that's one of the efforts mm -hmm. we did. And of course, all the, the background, the infrastructure we do for Friends to Mankind. Right. So do you think that business is the right way to go here? To reach out to people, to transform uh, humanity, that 
is the organization's aim. Is that right? I think it's one of the ways. Mm. It's one. It's one of the drivers that we are we are, we are banging banking on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We want to get the the, the, the simple. I mean, no, I mean, we want how to say because in, in the name of success, we have robbed this world. Uh, and have destroyed this world, you know, just striving for success, mm. uh, not considering another. So business is, is one is a big important part, and that's why huge. And, and another part is like, and this is why we also go for for business. Is uh, there has been a notion that everybody's on themselves, that um, and, and we are a tribal species. When we are supported, we are considered another much better. So that's why we bring want to bring, pe bring people mm. together want them to feel supported. Yeah, so what is the sort of business culture that you'd like to, you know, achieve and to promote? I, uh, I don't think that you can actually achieve a culture. I think it's, a, it's an evolutionary process. Um, but what we, we are, we're promoting or provoking basically is that uh, in, my, in my way of doing business, I just want to consider you, mm. that I don't rob you that somehow when I'm, when I'm banking on success, I'm taking you with me. Um, uh, I think like, that's... Like a good example is, uh, I think, Steve Jobs. He created a phone that, well, what can I say, probably is amazing, but it's also... He, he created he, a lot of stuff. Yeah, he yeah. created products that are great, that he wanted to get the great best experience out there. He was not looking for competing Perfect, yeah. or buying, uh, I mean, buying into others, but market share. This is just a side effect. He wanted to get, give the best he can with the best, his pe with the best, with, I mean, in, into the products. And, and it enriches us. And one of his slogans is, I think, uh, give, uh, give the best, allow you to be the best. Mm. You know, he, so he's, uh, it's empowering in a way. Okay, so it's empowering one another. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you taking a certain country or you know state in order to promote this? Is there a benchmark? I think we transcend boundaries. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Friends to mankind transcend boundaries, mm -hmm. and it's 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 very inspiring to see uh, people of different ages coming together. Yeah. Like like I'm one of the youngest around there, and, mm -hmm. and you are. Uh, <laughs> and just Roger name, makes the to differ. And you, you've got, uh, you've got the foreign, the Canadians there. You've mm. got uh, people from uh, Australia, the states, states, Netherlands, and you know. And and when I when I came to know about friends to mankind, and they how they backed me up with my business and supported me, the, these people came freely and they had no idea who I was, but they they connected to the cause that I stood for, mm -hmm. and boom. Mm -hmm. You know, live and inspire is all over the place. Yeah, and yeah. the kind of business that you're in? Uh, we build creative spaces to bring people together. Right. Yeah. Okay. So the, the, the assistance was not in terms of, not necessarily financial? Not necessarily financial. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's connectivity, it's reach, um, it's uh, manpower support, you know, mm -hmm. you name it. It's like, when I need resources, it's, I, I, it's just a phone call away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, who chose all this, uh, these topics? Would I mean, do you find all these topics very relevant? Like um, investment for dummies. What was that? Yeah. Um, back in October, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there's a whole community set, committee set up for this, and if you notice, uh, every gathering is uh, is held together by a different committee. So this is what we mean by engaging people for and particip and engaging participation from from the the pool of people. So these people come together and then they come up with a topic mm -hmm. uh, which they think is appropriate and then after that we, they go and source for, for resources. Yeah. So how, what are the kind of issues that you'd like to talk about in uh, women in business in that topic? Which is on the 19th of November. I think uh, very importantly, because I'm hosting it, I would touch on the mindset of how we view women in business. Mm -hmm. uh, there's there's so many uh, stigma to it, mm -hmm. like you know they can't lead or you got, you need to get the men to lead the company and I I want to contest the idea mm -hmm. um, and I want to see 
what this so from the men's perspective yeah. is that it uh no i mean from the women's perspective because we have uh, we actually have all women uh for the next one mm -hmm. and we'll see how it's all very women as in terms, in terms of speakers, speakers. In terms okay of speakers. who are some of the speakers uh we don't want to disclose it yet uh, mm -hmm. because we're still confirming. Oh, maybe just a, just just a few. Uh, <laughs> we've got we've got CEOs of uh, we got one or two CEOs of uh, uh, large companies mm -hmm. uh, who basically lead the financial industry. Right. That's so they're going to talk about the challenges of women in business. Yeah. That would be the challenges. One. That would uh, be a major one. Yeah. I think not only challenges. We also want to talk about. Uh, See, the challenge we have is that when we bring women into business, we think there's a challenge with it. Mm -hmm. So that's the one that I want to tackle. And like, what, why, why challenge? Mm -hmm. I mean, you lead a, a show like this, mm -hmm. uh, and I, and that's not that's not a challenge. You're mm -hmm. interviewing three men. Mm -hmm. and that's not a challenge. Depends so. who my guests are. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the stigma that oh, women face challenges in business. I mean, if I can s help people see that that you're already starting with a thought that there's a challenge with it, then how do we handle that? Okay, yeah. uh, any more to add? Because we need to take another short commercial break and we'll come back to find out more about Friends to Mankind and what they do. Stay with us on Hello Malaysia. Be right back. Thanks for staying with us. Number to call to 6937008. We've had two callers so far and they were curious about what uh, Friends to Mankind actually do and some of the business gatherings that they have organized and is organizing come 19th of November. Topic is women in business. Now, how does someone actually uh, participate or be a friend to mankind whether personally or individually or even uh, in terms of uh, cooperation Arvin I will touch on individually first oh. I think it's it's very simple and non-prescriptive is doing what you can where you are and that can amount to anything which is basically not doing anything that robs another so if I give you an example that would be... That's very difficult to do though, right? I mean, Actually, it's this, not, is it? And there's uh, no, man eat man, dog eat dog. Yeah, it's fundamental. Right. It's fundamental. It's fundamental. Uh -huh. It's something that we overlook most of the time. Uh -huh. So and you're saying it's easy to do something without robbing another? Yeah, it is. Because it's the value you add to yourself. Uh -huh. For in, I'll, I'm right. good at examples, so I'll give you an example. Yes, <laughs> okay. example man. There's, a, there's, a, there's this famous uh, story in the States when uh, John F. Kennedy in 1962, he went to visit the NASA Space Center and uh, during the tour, he saw this janitor walking with a broom mm. and uh, he interrupted the tour and went and asked the janitor, what I, what, hi, I'm, uh, hi, I'm uh, Jack Kennedy, what do you do? And this guy actually explained and said that, uh, Hmm. Well, I'm send, I send, I'm sending a man to the moon. Hmm. Now he didn't say that he was sweeping the floor. Right. He actually his job is actually sweeping the last lap hmm. when the astronaut walks to the shuttle. But his explanation was, yes, I'm sir. sending the man to the moon. Yep. So his value to the organization was, I'm part of the space mission. Hmm. So it's how you value yourself. Hmm. And if you value yourself in that manner, you are already hmm. seeing yourself in a bigger picture. Hmm. So he saw himself nice. towards the advancement of humanity. Hmm. So if a janitor can see that, why not everybody else? Time we see. Okay, we have a call of the line. Very good explanation and also example. Thank you so much, Arvin. Vivian from Johor Bahru. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'd like to find out if there's a gathering uh, in JB soon. Ah, okay. Uh, is is that all? Yes, yes. I okay. just wanted to find to out. Find out. Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Thanks, Vivian. Thank you. Yeah. We, I feel say we're working on it. Um, please get in, if you want to help us, or please get in touch with us on our website, my3n.com, or us on Facebook. Yeah. Facebook, um, what do they search for? Uh, you can go friends to, man, slash friends to mankind or okay. slash my... 
3n. My 3n. The 3 is numerical 3. Yeah. E-N yeah, dot you, com. If you're wondering what my 3n is about. I was just, just going to yeah, ask you. It, yeah. It's actually... Um, it, it actually means... Sun, in, in Sanskrit, it means friend. Ah, yeah. okay. That's really interesting. Yeah, yeah. So in Johor Bahru, in time to come. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah, I think there there are a lot of people uh, within the pool within our, our our circle that is already preparing to take this into many different chapters. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there was one that was in Malacca, who suggested uh, Malacca. Malacca chapter. Yeah. So mm -hmm. and then there are some that is already preparing for Canada, if I'm not mistaken. They are also doing their. Yeah. So, mm. so these chapters are basically set up by individual businessmen. Yeah. So we give them that opportunity. We tell them the format of it. And they get people involved in a particular committee mm -hmm. so and they long, actually set yeah. it up. Mm. So, so as long as they hold yeah. the format, mm. uh, then we're good to run. So v very quickly tell us um, the format, you know, roughly. Uh, the format is we bring together, we hold a certain topic. Yeah. We bring together... For example, women in business yeah. in, uh, and in November. We, we, we open it to 150 people. We host it in an open area, a neutral ground. Okay. Uh, the mingle happens, we mingle and everything, and then after that, there is a 20 minute to 30 minute uh, e uh, hosting of the speakers, mm -hmm. and then after that, it goes back to mingle. Okay, when you say mingle, does that mean Q&A or what? No, mingle is free mingle, we don't, uh, we don't really curate mm. the mingle, uh, so that's why we keep it to 150, mm -hmm. so it's very cosy, it's very spontaneous, mm. uh, if I like. If I like the way you look, I'll go down there and then start <laughs> talking to you and then exchange cards. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because we all look, we all go by impression in the very beginning. So, mm -hmm. so 150 is a good, it's a good number to mingle. Mm -hmm. So you think this format should be maintained? <laughs> it's been working on the yeah. last two. So okay. I think I, I, I mean, I'm sure it will evolve over time. Um, but over the last two sessions, it was, mm -hmm. it's been quite. What was the feedback that you all have got? I think there are a few people, uh, quite a number actually, who, who have found their own resources that they needed through advertising. Some who wanted website design, right. some who wanted to sell off something and eventually they actually made the sale there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite interesting. And also interesting, like the, some of the speakers we take from all, I mean, from the normal business uh, world, which they have, may have not known friends to mankind. Yes. And one of the feedback we got were from both of them last time is they, they really like what we're doing and they would like to support us. So they, they're embracing mm. this, our, our ideas. So Friends to Mankind also has a business network to facilitate uh, entrepreneurs. So is that right? How's that done? Yeah. So let me just uh, <coughs> highlight the infrastructure. So the business gathering happens on ground. Okay. The business network happens online, which is oh. mytrian.com. So uh, what happens on the business... How, how many people do you have online already? A few hundreds. A few hundreds, yeah. And this started back... Actually this year, January. Okay, which is also on Facebook. Yeah, we, we, there is a fan page. Yeah. Okay, great. So you were saying? Sorry. Uh, I lost. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You said one uh, business gathering is on ground. Yeah, business gathering happens on ground, on ground mm -hmm. and then uh, yeah, then the network is basically an on online that facilitates the on ground participation. Mm. Yeah. So okay. what happens when we come uh, to the business gathering? We mingle, we talk, we meet, and then after that we connect online. Uh, and then the relationship builds oh. further, yeah. Okay, Vice we have a caller, uh, Teresa from Kuala Lumpur. Hello? 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 Yeah, hi, Teresa. Hi, uh, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, if I have a project that I would like to do, can I ask uh, Friends to Mankind to support it? Okay. What kind of project uh, do you have in mind? What kind of project? If it is towards uh, to support the humanity. Wow. That's okay. huge. <laughs> That's huge. Thanks, Reza. To support humanity. What kind of projects that comes to mind, yeah? When you say you want to support humanity. Well, I think, I think we've got to be, we got to be very specific on what we need to do. Okay. And uh, we will, you can approach us basically through my 3 and uh, we will see, depending on our resources, mm -hmm. how we can help. We will definitely help, and um, but we need to know exactly what the project is oh. to figure out the resource, to figure out what needs to be done, mm -hmm. and all that. So yeah, we will help. That's the whole idea behind this. What are the common sort of uh, assistance that you give? I mean, you know, if I were to come 
to you and say, I just want to start this business or something. I'll, yeah. I'll give you an example. One of the one of, one of the discussions that we just got in, which is uh, I think a couple couple of weeks back, uh, was a university that came up to us, mm. one of the local universities, okay. and public they university. yeah public mm. universities, and they started off uh, a peace project uh, that they did it on the ground level with their students. Yeah. Uh, so we were brainstorming and, and this was... promoting peace. Yeah, also. they were promoting peace okay. and they were doing peace studies. They actually came over mm -hmm. to Friends to Mankind to discuss about uh, uh, how can we collaborate uh, to make this a bigger thing, uh, uh, focusing on peace. They wanted to do peace studies with us okay. and, and so forth. So I was in a meeting and the whole thing evolved to become a peace festival that we're now planning to launch uh, next year. Okay. Uh, and it's supposed to be a whole, uh, a whole. I think it starts somewhere in January, February, mm -hmm. and it's supposed to run all the way up to September, where where Peace Day happens. So those are events. Yeah. Okay. So those are projects, mm -hmm. but but. The how does it generate money? Uh? How how is it? A I don't business sort of project. Uh, I don't think it's a business project. It's oh. an awareness. It's a project that stands for okay. s for for the awareness of peace. Okay. Uh, but this is just to highlight that these are the people that come to us and and they put out the project and say this is what we want to do. Mm. Then how can you support <coughs> us? So you help them yeah. organize. So we we bring all resources we have. Mm -hmm. uh, we've the the technical resources, the reach, uh, the branding and consulting, All right. yeah, the sponsorships. Okay, uh, so you fund these resources via sponsorships. Some of it. Mm. Some of it. We either fund it or we source the funding from. Yeah. Okay. So do you raise money from charity, <coughs> that kind of thing? We do. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the projects that we, we that for example, like when I was building the Gathering of Great Minds last year, and we brought Patch Adams down, and I went over to Friends of Mankind and said, look, uh, we, this is what we're doing. And we came together and we reached for people to, who, to buy tickets to come. Okay. We reached for sponsors to come onto our platform. Mm -hmm. We reached for manpower. We reached, I mean, and it became huge, it became a, a raving okay. success. So this is an example of an event that yes. you uh, helped to, you know, uh, yeah, we were supported. spearhead yeah. and you supported it. What about business? Is there an example <coughs> that you can give? I think, um, like for example, one of the businesses, if I'm not mistaken, there are a few wellness businesses okay. uh, where we ran, we helped run a workshop for a business, a wellness business. And we did some consulting with them and, and showed them these are the types of branding you can do with your wellness business. Uh, we teach them like social media. How do you use social when media? When you say for wellness business, business uh, what do you mean? Uh, some of them within the pool of, of the community own a wellness business. Mm. Yeah. So they come to us and say, how do I make my business a friend to mankind business? Right. And that's when we, we said, okay, let, let's sit down and talk. And we show them that how you can do uh, with many different skill sets. So we what bring they, in What they also do yeah. as a result of that, they give out a lot of seminars yeah. on wellness for mm -hmm. free to mm -hmm. the public. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's, an in, that's a form of exchange that happens. So, yeah. So Friends of Mankind organize seminars as well. No, we help them. We help you them help them. It, yeah. But organize. we don't profit from that. Ah. Yeah, so that's how we participate in the business. Okay. Yeah. So do you get any cut at all? No. From the business we don't ask you a single percentage from your equity wow you guys are saints or something uh it's got to start somewhere <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so business networking um okay next gathering and that's women in business um how does one attend the event to get more information let's recap on that yeah. uh i think for you those who have just joined all us. you need to do is just go to the website www.mytrian.com mytrian spell m y number 3 e n uh and all the information is there so first come first serve. first come first serve okay are you going to say no you you can't come or there's a category of people uh, the last one we actually had to turn down some uh, because we try to keep it at 150 optimum and it's I think it's it's important that we keep it that way if we want to grow consistently. Uh -huh. So future of business in Malaysia is the next one. Yes. That's also very interesting. Globalizing your business. How to take the next step in your biz and ABC of marketing. Just local speakers or do you also have foreign speakers? I'm sure they'll be foreign. 
Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. So As of now, they are, we, we, we've had local speakers. Mm -hmm. Do you invite your speakers or they are volunteers? Uh, we invite them. Okay. So, um, Roger's role in all of this would be, what will you be doing for the well, business gatherings? The, well, some of the background, the IT infrastructures, I help with the MyChain website, mm -hmm. consult on that. Mm -hmm. Any challenges to, you know, to organizing such gatherings? I think the challenge would be having handle expectation of people coming there. Uh, when people come there, do I, uh, I want to come and tick, 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 tick. How do I come and give? Oh, it's a very different mindset. Right. Uh, so it's when it should be. Yeah. How should the mindset be then? I. I mean, you, you can usually see people who come, uh, the different mindsets that come together. I mean, it's not right or wrong, but what we want to, what we want to create is we want to create a space that we, people are coming there and I want to see how I can contribute. And then in my contribution, the giving happens. I mean, mm -hmm. the receiving happens. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, the challenges uh, for me, per se, is that if I were to organize it, and I'm not organizing this, mm -hmm. I'm just, I, I come there and I host. Uh, is to initiate that with, with the people that are there. Okay. We have another caller, Sophie sure. from KL. We'll take this call and then we'll go for a short commercial break. We'll come back with the answer. Hello? Uh, hello? Hi, Sophie. Yeah? Yes, yeah, my name is Sophie. Thanks for calling. Um, yeah. Yes, mm. uh, I've been uh, listening so far. Yeah. And it's all about uh, how to be a friend to mankind. Yes. But in terms of business, like me, I'm just starting up a new uh, business. So I wanted to know like uh, in participating in this gathering, how would it benefit me in terms of, uh, you know, my um, running my business, starting up my business? Mm. M maybe know what kind of business do you have? Yes, it's a baking business. Baking? Oh, yes. Great. Okay, yes. thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Sophie. Yeah, baking business. All 150 could be your customers. <laughs> <laughs> All 150 mm. people who are attending this bus business gathering can be your customers. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, That's one way of looking at it. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to bring up sweet tooth there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know of a friend who does baking and, uh, and he came for it, I think, uh, for the session. Yeah, and... No, it's still, this, you could sell other stuff as well. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll come back for more, I forgot. Uh, we need to take a short <laughs> commercial break and come back with more <laughs> replies from our guests ready. in the studio. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> All right, thanks for staying with us. Friends <coughs> to Mankind, an NGO organizing business gatherings in November, 19th November, to be specific women in business we had a caller just now sophie from kl and she is interested to join in this business gathering she has a baking business how can she benefit from being at the gathering roger would you like to take well this? i wanted to take it to how how she can how she can benefit from being a friend to mankind which i think is doing good doing good to your community or to mankind is is good business oh. like i think it's we've seen this more in the west and it's coming here as well is is company doing ethical business or like in, in Canada? Ethical we see, business. Yeah, yeah, like we've seen in banks or, or groceries in Canada, they're giving back to their communities. And so people realize that and they start supporting these these local or, or just these these companies who giving with who support them back basically. Oh. And just this week I was surprised to see there's a, there's a large uh, tea okay. company here. We have the, a picture of I'm sure you guys are familiar with who's on air right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgotten already. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Okay, this is the founder yeah, of Friends to Mankind, Mr. Dylan Bimmel. Dian. Dian, Dian Bimmel. <laughs> is, he, is he watching us? Hi, Dian. Dian. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> okay, thanks so much. Well, we had Dian um, back. Uh, then on Hello Malaysia, I was talking about the meeting of great minds. Yeah, that was also very well organized. Yeah, Roger, sorry, you were you were talking. I had to. You know, no, I wouldn't say like. Also, here I think the awareness is growing that uh, about ethical business. I saw the other day in, in the grocery store here, a large tea company is is selling tea, uh, ethical tea, and by, what they're doing is they're they're paying their their farmers rightly. We've seen this all over the world with coffee, banana, and stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is, 
and, and I think you can do your business by supporting your community, right? And people will will realize that and start start to support this more. Mm -hmm. Just adding on to Roger, and I, I, I know that you want to f have the benefit when you come there. So besides selling your cookies to 150 people, uh, you could come and talk to me about <laughs> building it on social media. Okay. You know, so how do I... And create a brand, perhaps. Yeah, and create yeah? a brand. Uh, and you can talk to someone who's in um, who's into branding and help you brand mm. your cookie mm. and and you know design your website and mm -hmm. are, are you selling your cookies through social media are you selling your cookies uh, if there's a factory owner there and you you hit bullseye oh. you know the the owner of the factory could have 300 people in his factory and right. so come. And was, yeah so I mean we don't want to curate the objective of you coming we don't want you to uh, we want you to come open and, you, and when you come open I think there's tons of opportunities you know what we forgot to tell our viewers where is this going to be held this uh, gathering Strand in the Strand Damansara. Strand it's at Kota Damansara Kota Damansara okay. the next one and what time? 3 o'clock to 5 3 to 5 3 to 5 on the 19th of November yes. at the Strand Kota Damansara you want to participate you can go to www.my3 as in number 3 en.com there's also a number to call yeah 6157-7746 i hope that is right that is very right okay so we've got a few minutes left before we wrap up the show perhaps um, yeah arvin you can sort of brief us on some of the other international initiatives that is undertaken by friends to mankind there's an initiative um, taken up by one of our canadian goodwill ambassadors she's a upcoming hollywood actress her name is serinda swan mm. uh, she raised funds for cambodian uh, <coughs> children by through through a close network of friends hollywood friends and amongst all of us in the friends to mankind uh, network and the goal was if she reached that target, she would actually skydive, which she did. And she, uh, she reached uh, 25,000. 25, a few 10,000 dollars. Yeah, $10,000 yeah, $10, US dollars. It's a small amount, but in Cambodia, that's a big amount. Yeah, of course. And so in a very short amount US of dollars, time. Yeah, yeah so she, she US basically dollars. skydived for it. For she, it. Did. Yeah, she, yeah. Did. she did. She did. Oh, so okay. it, we, and I think it happened like a piece of cake. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know. Make okay, an gentlemen, enter. two minutes left before we wrap up. Uh, final words, perhaps, Tim? Um, I'd like to invite uh, you to come, every one of you. Okay. Come and uh, <laughs> okay. participate, participate and see uh, what, what can you not only receive, but contribute. And I think if you go into business with the mindset to contribute, uh, you're already living it like a friend to mankind. Uh -huh. um, it's not to say that your bottom line is not the only priority. Uh, you make your, you make humanity your business. Mm. Yeah. So you make transformation your business. Uh -huh. Because and you have that in your mind, you want to add yeah. value. So automatically, yeah? by you designing your processes, your strategies, your vision, your branding, you will automatically take into consideration humanity at large. Right, so everyone can benefit yeah. everyone else. So you build your own ecosystem in that sense. Okay, yeah. thank you so much, Tim. Uh, Tim Fernandez, who is the live, that's live? Live. Live and Inspire founder, CEO uh, in business. Uh, Arvind, do you have your own business? No, I'm working for a telecommunications company. Okay. Thanks, Arvind Balan, who is a Friends to Mankind founding member. And Roger, thank you so much for joining us. Roger Zimmerman, who is thank you. Friends to Mankind uh, International Goodwill Ambassador, Switzerland, yeah, Switzerland. all the way from Switzerland. Switzerland. And good luck in your business gathering that's thank happening you. on the 19th of November, Women in Business. Do go to www.my3n.com if you want to sign up because there'll be a lot of uh, exchanges, of course, in terms of business talks and also discussions and networking. So bring your products along if you do want to sell your cookies and cakes. <laughs> there'll be customers waiting there. I'm Ann Edwards. Thank you so much for your time. And to our callers, thank you so much again. Bye-bye. We'll see you once again. Bye-bye.